What up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to turn any logo or image you find on Google, anywhere online, into an AI format logo with a transparent background where you can control the colors, size, all that good stuff. So I figured, why not do it with something trending? Fortnite, how do we make Fortnite transparent logo overlays that we can use for our gaming channels? We wanna put it in the little corner of our YouTube video. Adobe Illustrator and AI format's the best. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to remove the background and then change the color and then from there the next videos i'm going to dive into pretty much vectorizing and making transparent backgrounds and overlays with all of these logos so if you want to see some that are more advanced where we get into adding colors or multiple colors removing those backgrounds and then making them into overlays check out the links they'll be down in the description so let's just dive right into it so the first thing we're going to do is go up to file hit open go to your downloads folder open the logo you're gonna to wanna to come down here to the bottom left hand side of your screen and choose fit on screen. Hold down option and scroll your mouse ball forward and backwards. Come up to windows, go to workspace. Make sure you are in essential classics. Go to view, come down here and hit show transparency grid. That's going to make sure that you have nothing behind this object and we're gonna make sure we remove everything. Click on the object and you'll see when you have the object selected, you're gonna to wanna to choose image trace. Down here, there are several different options that you can use. If your logo has multiple colors and you want to save those colors and you don't want them to all be black and white, you can change three colors, six colors, 16 colors. We'll dive into that in the next video. For now, we're going to stick with default and you see the image trace already happened. So if I hit Command Z, I can go back, make sure I click back on the logo. And if I just hit image trace, it automatically chooses the default setting, which is just black and white. Once we are on our logo, make sure that we have it selected again, hit expand. Now what expand does is expand just went through here and put points all around your logo. Every part of this has now been outlined automatically. So if we zoom in, we can see that Adobe did a fantastic job of tracing this image out for us. I mean, really, really good. It helps when you start with a good clean logo. And again, I'm just using holding option on my keyboard and zooming in and out. If I hold command, I can go left to right. I have the pen tool selected at any time when you want to switch back to tools, hit V. So we're going to double click on our object and we want to make sure we have the color white selected. We're going to come up here and we're going to go select same fill color. What that just did is that just selected everything in this layer that is white. If I had other objects on different layers, it would not select the white in those. It's only going to select the layer that you are working on. Now that I have them all selected, I'm just gonna hit my delete key. And you can see if we zoom in here, we now just remove the white from the entire object or the entire shape or the entire logo. It's really that simple. Over here, what I've done is I've created a frame. So if we wanted to use this for an overlay in a video game, we would need to make sure that it's the proper size of our screen. We can do so by going new. You can see right here, I already have the settings saved for 4K size. So let's just say we wanted to make this for a normal HD video. We could come over here with 1920 by 1080 RGB color mode. I always raster effects in the highest pixels per square inch. If you're using this in PNG and most of the places, they don't accept anything above 72. So you can just do it however you want. So we can just choose 72 for default because we're never really gonna use anything higher than that, especially on just YouTube videos and stuff like that. Up here, I'm gonna call this um, 2K frame size. Come back up here view show transparency grid the transparency grid was automatically on but i like just to see it now when i come over here select all i want to go here and i want to ungroup first that way if i want to select just the top part i can if not if i click on here nothing changes click back on here it only selects that if i select it all and come up here to object and group it now when I select one piece, it selects all of it, making it very easy to change colors. We're going to Command C for copy. Come back over here to our 2K template size. Command V, zoom out. And you can see that obviously it is much larger than the size of our template. We're gonna click on the, we're gonna hold down Shift, click in the left corner, and we're gonna scale it down. At the same time, if I hold down shift and option and scale it, it'll scale it in from center, from the center point. Now we can zoom back in here and you can see this black box shows us the size of our frame and our Fortnite logo is now in the center. 
we could put it down here in the corner to make like a little Fortnite overlay. We want to zoom back in here. Come back up here to see all my color options. If I want to add a stroke, come up here choose the color. I want to make sure it's black. Come over here, get a solid black color, hit OK. And now you can see that it is outlined. I can then adjust the size of the stroke. Just got to make sure I'm selected on it. I can then adjust the size of the stroke. Get all wild and crazy with it. Doesn't change anything unless I'm actually selected on it. And that's it guys. I want to keep it short, simple, straight to the point. You guys should be good to go. Now when you export it, if you hit save as, if I'm working in Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, any one of the Adobe programs, I can keep it in AI format and I like to do so because it's super easy to change after the fact. I just reopen it in Adobe. If I want to change the color, I just open the file, hit save. As soon as I hit save in Adobe Illustrator, it's automatically going to change it in Photoshop, Premiere Pro, wherever I have that file. As long as I didn't change the file name, file name's still the same and I click save, it'll automatically update in whatever program you're working in. So we're going to save as. So this is the 2K template size, Fortnite logo, orange, and then it's the wood grain style. Hit save. All this stuff is just good. Hit OK. Now it just saved it in AI format. Come up here, go to export as. It gives me the ability to choose PNG, JPEG, TIF, SVG. Same thing, but this just extension is PNG. So I'm good to keep the name the same, .png. If you look down here, you can see the same thing, .ai, hit export. You can look down here and see that it has a transparent background. If I just wanted to add a simple white, I could choose white or black. If I wanted to add an actual additional color, I could draw a box in here, put it behind the logo and have a color background to save it, okay. Open my downloads, Illustrator, Brands, Fortnite. And now you can see I have the AI blue. I have the PNG blue. I have it down here for 2K in orange. And then I have the template ready to go. If I want to make any changes, colors, anything like that, I can just easily reopen it be good to go. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. Do me a favor if it did, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one. And the next one being, we'll jump over to this one after that and we'll dive down here into the color and I'll teach you guys how to put this logo over this image and add your own branding to logos and images to customize those things for your channel. Appreciate you guys. See you guys in the next one.